Hey everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and welcome to the Tyler Oakley Show. I am joined today by the always hilarious Seth Rogen, everybody. Very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, first and foremost, on life. Thank you. You're doing it. I'm living life, man. You have been a part of my life so much this week. I just watched Neighbors 2 nice. and Sausage Party. You've been inundated. I <laughs> have been feeling you in, within my soul. Um, a lot of me. Sausage Party was hilarious. Thank you so much. I was like, it's a crazy movie. I was gasping. I was shocked. I was appalled in the best way possible. I'm, I've seen it like a hundred times, and I'm still shocked when right. I watch it that they let us make that. Are you going to do a Sausage Party 2? Because if we, you do, yeah. I want to something. We're talking about it now, so if it happens, you'll get the call. I would love it. Okay, cool. Are you on social media in any sense? Do you, I, I know you're on Twitter, but yeah. do you like Snapchat? Do you? I'm not on Snapchat. I use Instagram. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty much on Twitter. Do you think you're Instagram. good at it? Do you do it like all the time? Or? No. I get baited into stupid arguments with more. Do you argue with strangers? All the time, sometimes. No. And I'm always like, never again. And then I find out. And then I'm the just next like, morning you see doing? one tweet. And you're I'm like, talking to an idiot. Well, you know who is good at Twitter? Yeah. Your mother. She is. She is incredible. She really is. I have seen master lists. The people, they live for her. She just reached yeah. 30,000 followers. It, that's amazing. Which is like that's incredible. So she crazy. is a celebrity within herself. She really is. And she's really funny on it. She's like, great. But Famous last words. She says a lot of sexual things I prefer not to <laughs> share. In Hollywood, yes. there's, there's rumblings that you might enjoy uh, partaking and enjoying some munchies. I do like munchies. The internet has theories about certain ingredients that go together that yeah. make the perfect 3 a.m. munchies. Yeah. So I felt like today we would try to discover if they're good or not. Okay. Ew, this is gross. Do we dip it? Yeah. Ugh. Chocolate and citrus. I mean, I guess there's like those chocolate blossom Listen, things, right? There are worse things you would be forced to eat in life. It's not I that love it. Like a creamsicle. I love it. Wow, it tastes exactly like a creamsicle. I guess I love this. I it's thought as like a pothead, I knew so much. <laughs> no, I don't. Let me introduce you to the world. There's always more to learn. Oh no. This looks gross, but now I hate to prejudge any like, of these things. This I've might had my taste eyes like, open. Yeah. This might be a creamsicle. Exactly. <laughs> In an 80s movie, this is what the pregnant woman would be yelling for. This is not bad. It's good. Pepperoni and peanut butter? It works. I guess. I'm done with that one. <laughs> what do we Have you have? eaten this stuff? I have not. Olives and olive? chocolate? No. I've got to, like, section it off. Oh, so she's I fancy. <laughs> <laughs> you are so ritzy. I know. I am. Cheers. I Cheers. Oh, it's so. not bad. Is it OK? It's okay. It goes together better than you would think. Well, I'm done with it. I'm ready for the next one. Oh my god. Cheese and grapefruit? This looks gross. You know what? You're Maybe. gonna love it. Have you had this? No. My food is limited to like Chipotle. Yeah. <laughs> straight up. No like That's it. Just nothing Chipotle. crazy in it. It's kind of like benign. It almost like cancels nothing. each other out. It's yeah. nothing. Is peanut butter, jelly, and sriracha? Now, do you like spicy? I do like spicy food. Ketchup is too spicy for me, so this might be. <laughs> this, I am. I am that person. You're the whitest human Thank being you. on the entire planet. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Maybe make a little pile and we'll oh, dip so it. Oh, so she wants to dip. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna just. Well, that's weird. Again, not bad. All I'm learning is I have no Once barometer mixes, for what tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just eat anything. Our taste levels like, are so low. I just don't care. This doesn't look this bad to me at all. This just looks like this just something you could buy. Yeah. This is a whole marshmallow. This has been the best meal of I know. <laughs> that I've had in the studio all week. Mm. Killer. Yeah, that's that works. We just had a full meal. We you really, are welcome. I've had my eyes opened in a lot of ways. You will get the bill in the mail. And that, we <laughs> must have eaten 85 foods. cents worth of food here today. Yeah. So. If there's one thing that I know that you enjoy more than the munchies, yeah. it would be doing good in the world. It is. I hear that you have a charity mm -hmm. with your wife. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, it's called uh, Hilarity for Charity, which rhymes. Um, and it's... Already off the <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> my wife's mother uh, got diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's and 
when she was in her early 50s and we found that there was really no one our age that was talking about it. We created a charity mostly designed to raise awareness among young people about Alzheimer's, but we also provide in-home care for people who can't afford it. That's wow. where half of our money goes. And we have a college program hey. that should be starting soon for college children. That's what I call them. I don't know if that's the term. I think but that I is. say college children. The, the, the kids. If you guys want to get involved, again, go to the website. It's going to be below. All the information will be there. Thank you for chowing down on munchies with Thanks, me. Thanks, man. That, was, was, so that was good stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. Bye, y'all.